Hey guys, what's up? This is Scott Cooper from the Millennial Nerds Podcast, as you can see right there. And I kind of just wanted to show you a little bit today about the hosting site I use uh, to actually host my podcast. Uh, it is uh, called simplecast.com. And this is probably one of the easiest to use um, hosting sites I've ever done. So I know a lot of people like Anchor uh, because it's free. And a lot of people like, uh, you know, Podbean and stuff like that. And I've looked into all those and, and I've, I've tried them all out. You know, I tried out Anchor at one time. I thought it was the greatest thing ever. I could record a podcast on my phone with my friends. And it's a great software, but I just felt very tied down with what I could and couldn't do with Anchor. So I moved on to other types of things. I looked up Podbean. I did SoundCloud. I did a couple of other different things. And this was the one that just stuck out to me. It was it, I got a free 14-day trial with it, and it just was was it was naturally like easy to, easy for me to use, easy for me to understand, and just how interactive everybody is when it comes down to working with you. This little help button right down here is awesome. Reach out and just anybody will be you know. And I'm always having conversation with people, going, "Hey, you know what? What should I do here? What should I do here?" And like I said, it just it's it's great to have that kind of support. So, Simplecast, and we'll go to simplecast.com real quick. So, that way you guys can kind of understand. So, Simplecast, um, these guys understand podcast management and distribution, obviously. And you can start your 14-day trial, and the plan start at $15 a month. So, I'm not selling anything here. Uh, I did look into their affiliate programming, so if eventually I do become an affiliate, I will definitely post it in the link uh, in the description. But as of right now... Uh, I'm not an affiliate. Um, I just I want to share with you guys that this is very very easy to use software, and in a world where everybody's thinking that they're going to start their own thing, um, this to me is is easy. It's so it's so great. Um, and then and I'm going to show you why. So uh, their stories here, you know, they've been around for six years. Uh, publishing, distribution, and then the analytics, and we're going to get into that, and sharing tools. And they have a great sharing tool that I want to tell you guys about. Uh, and I, I do everything in kind of a one um, one easy uh, going thing. So, uh, and it's pretty seamless, and the players are great, too, mind you. And even with the basic plan, you get a nice little player site um, that you can use. So, <clears throat> we'll get down to uh, the plans. So, um, the basic plan, $15 a month, $13.50 uh, if you uh, prepaid annually. Um, you can kind of see unlimited storage and uploads, distribution to everywhere your audience listens, customizable show website with custom domain, one additional team member you can credit, uh, and then the embeddable episode web player, recast for you and your listeners, a secure uh, site and RSS feed. That's probably all you really need to start off with. You don't need these other things right here. This is for when your show gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, this right here is a great, great tool. This is the one I'm on right now. It's the basic plan. Uh, the essential, um, you see what you get. Two all new web players, a mini, and a show, custom site page, episode comparison tool, <coughs> country and state location analytics, basic recast analytics, and web player analytics. That's definitely you know something that I'm interested in. I could definitely see the benefits of it, but not enough yet to where I feel like I have to have that. And then you can really see the major differences between all the plans here. So, and like I said, in it, it's one of those things where they even tell even are you quickly as you're are you quickly hitting over $250,000 a month? We'd love to tell you about Simple Cash Professional. So, like I said, they, they it's it's really they 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 hit they hit home on every little thing you're really looking for. So, like I'm not hitting twenty thousand dollars a month yet. If I hit if I hit fifty thousand, then obviously I need I know I need to move up. So, and then an easy uh, frequently asked questions. They have a great support blog where they will they're they're gonna have webinars and things like that for you guys, and that's all free, mind you. You know. So what does it actually look like? So this is the this is one of the basic plans, right? So when I upload an episode, all I do is go to a new episode. I drag my audio file and content here. So if I were to create an episode, let's just say I was doing my 4K TV episode. 4K TV, this would have been episode 16. I title it, 
4K TV for people who had a hard time watching Game of Thrones. Right? I can title it whatever, it doesn't matter. And notice how it's easy, easily edited right there. What's cool is you can do a full episode, trailer, or even a bonus. So for all of you who want to do bonus podcasts, like for your Patreon and stuff like that, it's a bonus cast. It's uh, it's easy for you guys to sit there and hide it like that. You can hide it from your RSS, and then you can give it to somebody uh, once they you know reach your Patreon. You don't have to sit there and hide it on other things anymore. Like it, It's all one easy thing. If you're doing a trailer, awesome. It tells you it's a trailer type. And then you just say, hey, look, episode privacy, private hide. Maybe maybe it's a trailer I hid that I only give out to certain people to post on their podcast. You know, you don't have to, everything isn't, isn't seen. And I know that's not the same way with everything else. So it's full episode, episode 16, episode show notes, summary notes, and you can just write it. You know, we write whatever you want here. That's your summary. You can do full description show notes, you know, pretty easy stuff. Then your all important metadata. Search keywords right here. Add relevant keywords to help people find your episode. So, of course, title is important. And then we just do our wonderful things here. So, Game of Thrones. Couldn't see. You know, little different taglines like that. And then, you know, it makes it as so easy as possible. So, you can use an alternate episode web page if you would like. And then your artwork. Uh, our recast settings and then we'll, we'll talk about what recast is here in a minute it's one of my favorite features and then you would just save that as a draft it saves the episode and then you get to this main page right here where it will show you the ability to publish it and i just published an episode recently so uh and then episode promotion gives you a short link right here gives you sharing links right here so we've got one download so far one download the day of this this one just came out and then your uh, in player or your web player uh, embedded right here. Here's a direct link to download. And then my favorite thing is the recast generator. Recast generator allows you to go ahead and do a 30 second, 60 second, or 90 second clip of your show for social media. So it's uh, really, really cool. So you'll be able to do this. So we, I know where my intro is. So right here, recast and share. It's going to trim the audio down for us. Recast of episode 15 takes it a minute, but essentially you're downloading like a mini video file and What people are able to do with that is you're now able to share that on social media and I love this feature I know a lot of guys use headliner uh, and I've heard great things about it But I just love that it's all encompassing in, in one Page for me because it gets a it gets very busy marketing your podcast so this to me is a, one of those essential things where it's like it's just easy Right, and you can do up to 90 seconds because you're not doing anything crazy. So we download recast. Got a nice little MP MP4 file right there. Uh, do, do, do. Let's move that to the desktop for right now. Easy access, and then we can go here. Here's my wonderful Facebook page. Scroll over here, photo, video, desktop. A wonderful, wonderful little thing that we just did. It's going to load that video up and we just go ahead and share it. And what's great is not only will that upload to social media, but you can use it on Instagram as well. And then of course, we obviously we can't use Instagram on a computer um, um, easily, um, but it's cool that you're able to then share it on there. So when it does upload eventually on Facebook, you'll be able to see it's a, it, it's what they call as a recast. So video is now live. We can watch it. And there you go. So it's a nice little preview of what your podcast can actually offer. So like I said, it, it's definitely one of those things that you really should take full advantage of. And if you're very serious about your podcast, you will, uh, you will understand um, why it's important. So we go also into analytics as well. So obviously traction wise, I'm able to see that Avengers Endgame here was big when it came to downloads. It's actually, it was downloaded more times than that. It's just, I don't have all the analytics right now that are available to me. And this is first seven days. So first seven days since release, 
Um, it was downloaded 206 times, which as you can see, far beats out anything, but that was because that's what people were looking for. They were looking for in-game reviews. They were looking for traffic. So my traffic has died a little bit. But what was great, though, is is that, uh, that may be accurate, that 207, that that brought in tons of more downloads for a lot of my other, uh, other shows. So um, it looks like, you know, people gravitated more towards the gaming side of things. Uh, and then it, this went from, you know, 10 downloads to 92 downloads, all because of the in-game review. And that brought people in. So, you know, if, you, if you're familiar with uh, any success I've, I've said I had, previous seven days were 52, we jumped 844 downloads. So it was, it was awesome. And I'm able to look at this with, with analytics. And, you know, I'm able to see, so in-game review. So I had one download, two, six, 12... 19 40 79 and that was the day of course it released so you know and, and it's those things that like i'm sitting here going well what do people find more entertaining do they find this do they find this do they find this and then i'm able to like you know cycle and break it down well more people are downloading my stuff at you know 5 to 6 p.m than any other time of day but when i release something 12 a.m i'm getting a lot of downloads 18, 16, 42, but it just, you can see 73 jumps up to five to six. So that's past seven days, right? If you, if you go into more of the plans, you can kind of really, really bump your analytics. And of course, downloads by location. So I can sit there and go, okay, so how many people are listening to it? And what's the most areas? So you can kind of really narrow it in right here. And it looks like it's spread, but oh, there was a 10. I thought I saw it, there it is. So Orem, <laughs> wherever that is, I can look up to that. Maybe there's a maybe there's a bunch of fans there. Uh, Oceano, Napa, Seattle. So it's kind of really cool. And then over here, of course, you know, it looks like Rome. Hey, ten downloads in Rome. Shout out to Rome. Um, and then you can kind of see where your last seven days were. And then there was some, you know, here in Australia. And then there was some here. Um, looks like a. So the Philippines, Indonesia area, I don't know. I'm terrible with geography. <laughs> but it, it's, it's really cool with the analytics that's able to provide. And of course, how are people listening to your podcast? And that's probably one of the most important things. So we give a lot of uh, shout outs and things like that. Now, Spotify is not on this yet. It will be, and so will YouTube. Uh, Simplecast is telling me, but Apple Podcasts right now, obviously, big, big difference. And then this guy right here, TuneIn Radio, is something that I just went ahead and stuck my feet to. I haven't advertised that I, I do anything on that at all. Same thing with like CastBox and Stitcher has really fallen, um, in my opinion, from what it used to be. But Apple Podcasts obviously is where a lot of people are downloading at. And this is why I say, so look, 654, you add all this together. Obviously, they're downloading it from other places as well. So there's other applications they're listening it to that still are not on here that they have that they, they don't have updated yet. But if I were to sit here and go, okay, so, and this is a great, you know, picture, who is listening to it? Well, probably people with an Apple device. That's the that's the first and foremost thing, because I don't think you can really listen to a lot of uh, podcasts on iTunes on your Android right now. You have that with Android uh, browser and Google Podcasts right here. That, that's, that's there. TuneIn Radio is an option as well. But Apple, people love their podcasts. So, you know, if you can kind of gravitate towards that same idea and philosophy when you're doing your podcast, maybe your podcast numbers will go up. Uh, and that's just, you know, that's theories. You know, we're, we're in the beginning stages of this uh, as we go on. And, you know, only got five downloads today, but you know what? That's still five downloads. That's five different people who listen to my podcast today. And to me, that's small victories like that. So um, we want to look at something else too real quick. So this is your main page the overview, right? And just to show you guys, this is your overview and you go to episodes. These are all your episodes. Now I went ahead and there are some episodes that I've set for private for right now. Um, I originally named this something, something podcast and some millennial nerds. Uh, and that was another cool thing too, is that they were able to help me um, cause I, I named my podcast, something, something podcast. And obviously I kept it for about six episodes, uh, until I found out something else was the same name as mine. 
poor me on, or bad me on poor research, but you know, they were able to like change my artwork and everything um, when I submitted it, and it was one click of a button when I was updating my RSS feed. So go to overview, go to audience. Those are analytical breakdowns. Tells you I can upgrade my plan for more information. But I want to go to show distribution, right? So this is how easy they make this. So here's my RSS feed, right? That's mine, okay? And I submitted to Apple Podcasts, submitted to Google Podcasts, submitted to Spotify. That's it. This literally took, and I submitted all these ones right here. So we talk about like Pocket Cast and Breaker and things like that. iHeartRadio. And I actually have not submitted to iHeartRadio yet. Uh, that's why this is open right here. But uh, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, Overcast as well. So, like I said, you can submit to all these guys. And there's my Stitcher feed. So when you do submit to it, it shows you the feed. And then, of course, advanced settings. You can do some enclosure URLs, RSS direct feed, override feed URL, auto discovery, turn off uh, your feed from search engines if you would like. Um, but this is this is the thing, and it just makes it so easy. If I do one episode, it goes out to every single one of these that I've that I've uh, applied my feed to, and it's it's easy. I've never had any issues. I've never had an issue show up where they have issue over here or issue over here. And like I said, there's there's Spotify right now. Now Spotify is is newer into the podcasting realm, so those analytics aren't available quite yet. But you can do your own separate analytics for uh, for Spotify. So, but yeah, and that's just one of the things I really really love about it. And then site settings and design. So this is my customizable uh, URL if I really wanted to. Um, I keep it simple and basic. So it's nothing, nothing too astronomical, but this is what uh, a basic site looks like. You can kind of, uh, you know, go a little crazy if you want to, but got the trailer right here. Um, it's pretty simple. I listen on Apple Podcasts. Listen and subscribe right here. Um, if you don't want to listen on Apple Podcasts, you can listen and subscribe. How do you want to do it? Spotify, Radio Public, Pocket Cast, Google Podcast, Stitcher. Um, and then of course you have the mini player up the top. Breakdowns your episodes right here. And you know that's it's pretty simple and basic stuff. Patreon link, Instagram link, Twitter link, Facebook link, uh, all of that is easy to set up. And then my personal um, favorite thing uh, is that when you actually Google, and this is uh, really really cool, nerds, boom! So first thing that pops up. Uh, and I've done a lot of uh, a lot of keyword research and things like that, and just to know that millennial nerds is something that I've got now because when I did this beforehand, nothing, absolutely nothing showed up. But now, not only do you have that, you have millennial nerds Facebook page, my actual website that I've really not done anything with. I just went ahead and bought the domain, and then it's overtaken you know other things so and it's awesome and then slowly but surely i'm creeping up there in those youtube searches so and that's all things to simple cast so uh if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like uh share it with your friends uh, and uh, subscribe and if you use simple cast uh, let me know how you guys are liking it so other than that uh, you guys have a awesome awesome day and listen to the podcast it won't hurt anything